Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel Dash Princess Things. In this HTML tutorial, up to now we have seen introduction, editors, and what is the basic level uh, tags and everything. Now today we are going to see about HTML elements. HTML element is uh, defined by a start tag and some content and some end tag. So combination of these uh, three we can call as HTML elements. Uh, like uh, HTML elements is everything from the start tag to the end tag. What is between the start and end tag is called as a HTML elements. Like we here can see the tag name and the ending tag and starting tag and the content is between those two tags. So some HTML tags we are going to see that one, first one is the heading tag that is h1 tag and uh, p, p tag that is a paragraph tag we have seen in previous sections uh, sessions and uh, start tag here is the h1 is a start tag and uh, some uh, content element content is nothing but some content in in uh, in between the tags of uh, start tag and end tag end tag the difference between the start tag and end tag is just a uh, uh, slash a uh, black slash in uh, the ending tag and uh, uh, paragraph tag is same having the start tag and end tag and one tag which doesn't have uh, a con element any content and uh, n n doesn't have any end tag then the tag is known as an empty element we can have here is a break line tag some elements doesn't have any content like br tag these elements are called as empty elements where as we discussed in the previous sessions empty elements doesn't have any end tag and it doesn't have any content here is the break tag br is the example of that empty element and next we will go to and discuss about our nested html elements html elements are all are nested nested is nothing but this means the elements contain other elements means one element contains an another element then that is known as nested html elements html elements uh, consists of uh, html html documents for example this is one document this is the html document which consists of nested html means element in uh, have contain another element uh, that is element in element this is known as nested html elements uh, HTM, one html element having the another html element in it that is known as nested html elements uh, for example uh, if you have four html elements like a, a html tag and a html body element and he heading element and next parameter element with the parameter tag and everything we can see here is the example we have a document type uh, declaration and a html uh, tag in which we have a body in which body we have nested uh, element that is uh, uh, h1 tag this is all nesting uh, we can see here uh, for example see this example where we have a html element as a root element and defines is the whole html document uh, um, th this is the start tag of html and this is the end tag of html inside the html we have a body tag here we can also have a head tag uh, here we didn't uh, uh, represented that head tag we have using a only body tag in this html tag which is a nested tag we can say here and next in the body tag we have using the h1 uh, which is a heading tag and also a p para paragraph tag this is a body element contains a document's body what is to be in the body of the document is given in this uh, body or uh, element the entire uh, tag and the element the starting tag and end tag, entire this one is called as body element we can say the uh, the whole content we can say element the start tag of body and end tag of body the difference is only slash body then inside body we have two other elements which is a heading element and a parameter element a whole uh, whole starting uh, tag and ending tag and and uh, in between the content we can call it as a whole as a element this is a heading element h1 heading element and p parameter element we can say here next h1 element defines the heading Head, heading is defined by here is a h10 h1 element and h1 is the starting tag is this one and ending tag is this one the only difference is slash and we can see here a syntax of this and parameter is also same as a heading uh, the main difference is p uh, this is all about tax we uh, nested tax we can say next uh, how these tags are very important uh, we uh, how much important we have a starting tag that much importance will go with the ending tag also without uh, the ending tag we can't get the output some HTML elements will display correctly even if you forgot the end tag. some elements like uh, mm, some elements like for example see this uh, example we didn't this uh, defined as ending tag but we will get the output of this paragraph likewise some elements uh, give us uh, 
outputs without ending tag like we can uh, give here is ending tag p if you give an ending tag it will display same lies if you doesn't give in uh, here we doesn't have any tag that doesn't give any uh, that give output for example i am removing here the body tag what will uh, will be the output let's see yes we are getting the output uh, same as this tag for example uh, again i'm giving the body and i'm removing the html tag let's see what will happen uh, we can getting the outputs of this uh, the program so what we have concluded by this without a uh, uh, display uh, without a uh, forgotten the end tag also we can get a uh, html element sometimes correctly sometimes in rare cases uh, we will uh, get unexpected results and errors if we forgot the end tag however in most of the cases some html elements give the tags uh, never rely on these so we can't say uh, which tag of that will give results likewise so this is uh, uh, never skip the end tag so be careful while uh, writing the tags Cl end tag and uh, closing tag open tag and closing tag so now let's see uh, empty html elements as we discussed earlier empty html elements are the elements which doesn't have any content and doesn't have any end tag so those elements is known as uh, html empty elements now here we have an example of break line this br tag denotes the break line we can say if you want to uh, break a line then we have to use this tag this is an empty element without a closing tag it doesn't have any content and doesn't have a closing tag this is just a tag which is uh, given uh, in the nested in another tags or uh, we can write it separately or you can nest it in other tags likewise uh, for example we can see this example which has given below here is a paragraph uh, uh, tag with a starting tag and end tag. In between the paragraph tag, we have given a br, which is a break line. This is the output. This is uh, here we are getting a break line, and, and from that uh, we are getting in a next line uh, with this paragraph. For example, if you give an uh, the, uh, this uh, this is nested uh, uh, nested uh, tags. If you give an this as a break tag in uh, that let's see what i am doing i'm giving a p tag another tag and i'm giving the disease as break and uh, giving and the p let's see the output see you can see here with the break tag you will get the break line as usual and we are getting this paragraph for example we can say if i'm going to remove this uh, closing tag of p and let's check the output the output is same without the ending tag also we are getting the output for example i wanna give this break line in the uh, after the pa after the paragraph like i am ending this para this paragraph and um, i'm ending this paragraph also i'm giving uh, irrespective of the paragraph and not nested i'm giving br is in the uh, not nested in the paragraph but nested in the body so let's see the output we will get the same output uh, we are getting a p paragraph and break line and and then we are getting paragraph here what is going on means uh, for uh, for every paragraph we will get a line break uh, for every end paragraph and uh, another starting paragraph we get a break line and the, and again we are writing here break then we will getting two break lines here if you want to remove this br from here and run the output this will be like this for every p uh, p tag paragraph it will take a break line if you if you given br tag in here you will get another extra break line here you will get extra space uh, or you can uh, remove this tag then see see the difference likewise you can practice in different cases here we are giving uh, this is a tag of because of this br we are getting a line gap and and the paragraph what we are going to with the difference here if you given the uh, ending uh, ending tag then you will get to the another tag uh, with with the line gap if you didn't give the ending tag of p paragraph then you will go, not go to the another line it will continue so likewise uh, the br tag will be work so if you have a uh, ending tag of p next br then you will get two lines of break so most of the people use this uh, to get a paragraph into another line like this, this is the, what they have given this is without a break line and within the same paragraph uh, for example break line
the break line you will get the angle line if you want to make distance in here then you can close this uh, p tag and open this p tag then you will get the difference so practice with uh, many different cases what's going on if you keep that uh, if you can change this this practice makes me you a better understanding of what's going on really there so it is very good to uh, practice different cases so this is about the break tag and next uh, HTML is not a case sensitive that is uh, it is not a uh, a okay, case sensitive uh, we can have sensitivity it doesn't have any sensitivity of a uh, uh, case sensitivity we can say have a capital p and lower case and upper case whatever may be the same here not any uh, uh, case sensitivity here so it doesn't require any lower case tags or uh, upper case tags it doesn't bother about uh, the um, font of that uh, highly recommend us to follow the lower case for example some uh, some language markup languages like exam history love uh, strictly demands for the lower case but here we can use any uh, case upper or lower no matter what it is but uh, we uh, highly recommend you to use the lower case tags names and everything uh, for better results so that's about uh, uh, case sensitivity of html tags uh, this is not case sensitivity and next a HTML tag reference uh, what will be the tag what the tag uh, describes about and what is uh, defines what it defines is nothing but HTML is a root tag of HTML document and body tag defines about the documents body what to be in that body what is to be visible content uh, should be included in the body or uh, for a head tag it is a meta information to be contained in that head tag likewise and h1 to h6 uh, we define HTML headings uh, how how much of size of heading you will want uh, is that side heading uh, must be low, smaller than that uh, bigger heading likewise we uh, from h1 to h6 tags we can use uh, uh, any tag uh, described of a particular heading we want uh, size of heading we want so if you want to refer more tags related to these uh, html tags you can go through this html tag reference uh, uh, through this click through this link and uh, you will get uh, many uh, you can also search by alphabetical order uh, for example uh, Exclamatory talk document type to declare hyperlink for a abbreviation ABBR and area and everything aside radio and many more tags are given. I'm not going to discuss the, about these ta uh, all uh, tags. Uh, we will uh, go through these tags in the coming sessions. Uh, we are going to learn each and every tag in a brief manner uh, in a slowly uh, topic wise. So no need to worry about those tags at once. Oh, no need to uh, read those all and. Uh, read those and uh, keep in mind all these tags at once you will learn those tags in a brief manner uh, slowly so that's all about this html elements uh, what is meant by tag elements and everything nested elements so that's all for today if you have any doubts regarding these these tutorials and these uh, things uh, you can comment us in the comment section and if you like this video give a big thumbs up and uh, if your colleagues and uh, friends are uh, in search of any web developer sites then you can suggest this and uh, you can suggest our videos to learn from basic uh, things and clear understanding and it is i'm describing in a formal english so that everyone can understand so subscribe to my channel for many more videos like this and subscribe and click the bell icon below to get notified each time when we upload a new video so that you can never miss our videos Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. That's all for today.